Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Friday, October 16th, 2020. The Tarot card for today is the Page of Cups, in this case, the Princess of Cups from the Chalice Tarot. And, you know, first I want to say New Moon Blessings. Today is a new moon occurring at 23 degrees Libra. And, of course, it's always a good time to be making intentions for what you, you know, hope to accomplish in life and carry out but i do want to say of course that mercury is retrograde so it's not necessarily the best time to be beginning anything however however we do have our page here and the pages in the tarot are messengers and with mercury being retrograde the message itself may not be perfectly clear but there's no coincidence with anything that is going on there's just no such thing what you need to remember today is that mercury is retrograde in scorpio your intuition is what's going to see you through to be able to look beneath the surface and to have a greater understanding okay of what these messages are what the universe is actually trying to tell you because i don't think it is like bold and in your face all right it's more about the subtleties of the way things are going all right and when we see the pages you know that is sometimes the way the messages are it's not like someone comes knocking on your door and says hey guess what okay it's up to you to pay attention and pay attention is a very key thing right now to have a greater understanding of what is going on or what may even be about to happen and that can be quite a bit as we're building to a square between the sun in libra and saturn in capricorn all right uh, when we when we see the sun okay we have to remember ego is very much at the top of you know like our list of key words for what may be happening and whether it's your ego or someone else's it's important to pay attention here because this card could represent someone who is behaving badly today like behaving childish i you know i would really just leave it alone okay if you've been with me for a while you know that typically we see the queen of swords like she she's finally stopped showing up so we know we're in a different like feel for what's going on around new moons and full moons because she's always either right on the day or before or after so here with the page i'm telling you the page is saying pay attention because this is about what the universe is doing the way it weaves the whole story together and what is really important to remember with any story that is going on, okay, is that, you know, life is kind of like 99% how you react to what happens, you know, in front of you, to you, around you, that type of thing. And I think that I would keep reaction to a minimum. This isn't the time. You're, you're reaching that, you know, I've been talking about a turning point in October and I do think that you'll see that from this new moon until the full moon in Taurus which will be the second full moon in this month that that full moon is going to be a little bit testy but how you feel about most things by the end of the month is going to be much different it's going to become easier with whatever it is that you're trying to do so bearing that in mind choose not to let whatever happens around this new moon trigger you you don't want to react in such a way that you alter the course of everything okay in an unfavorable manner remember these two things Scor scorpio right mercury is retrograde in scorpio pluto scorpio's ruler is still you know hanging at that direct motion degree okay it's right there it has really barely budged so you need to look deep all right when i talk about intuition you know it's like looking deep 
you know, Scorpio looks beneath the surface and really digs for stuff, as does Pluto. So pay attention, but don't, I, you know, I can't even say, like, don't react. It's about how you don't respond, really, I think. Let that intuition be your guide. That's your most important thing. But don't take things at surface value. The messages are a little more hidden around the time of this new moon. But do make sure that you have those intentions ready to go. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.